Yeah, already, 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 already. What's going on? It's yo, me, yo, Shireen. Yo. And we got my brother, Luke. How's it going? Luke, tell him what you do and what you up to. Uh, yeah, my name is Luke Manimala, aka The Manimal. Um, working on music, uh, interviewing homeless people, just, you know, writing stories and, you know, doing my thing. Yeah, you guys should follow what he's up to. lmanimal.com slash dialogues is his really great, um, homeless project where he like interviews homeless people and is sharing their stories and just kind of like humanizing homeless people because they are humans. His topic that he brought to me was following your bliss and I feel like it's a word that I definitely don't use very often. I think first off I'd like you to define what bliss means to you. Sure, oh uh, yeah for me bliss is kind of like supreme happiness. Okay. Um, like ultimate joy, kind of just the things that really make you feel good inside. So, what is that to you? For me, that's like, you know, like writing, uh, whether it be stories or writing music, producing, uh -huh. playing piano, playing instruments. Typically, like for me personally, it's a lot of like creative uh, expression. Hold for the train. Hold for the train. Hold for the train. Brought the train. Blue thing. line. We got the red line over here. <laughs> How did you discover what your bliss was? I think I've kind of always knew. Getting older, if I were to retire right now, what would I do? Yeah. And that I think is kind of like these are the things that I do that I'm passionate about. Call yeah. Them hobbies or uh -huh. not, but they're um, they're things that like really make me happy and give me a sense of satisfaction. Risk aside, basically, you know, if you knew you could pick one thing to succeed at, yeah. what would it be? Right, and then you knew for sure you were going to succeed. Right. Because that's the scary part about doing something risky, doing something scary, is that do you want to put all your eggs in that basket? That's why yeah. I feel like I do so many things and it's, I need to just focus on something. Definitely. Because I'm like, oh, well, I'm good at um, planning weddings. I'm good at marketing i'm good at making videos or like i like making videos right. and those are all things i actually really enjoy but what's like really the 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 deep down yeah thing? for sure I, I think a lot of people are also afraid to fail you know and oh like for that's sure what part of it is and like, yeah i think getting past that fear of failure and like accepting failure as a good thing sometimes yeah is uh is definitely a difficult thing for everybody but we've been trained we've yeah, been trained, trained to sure. believe that failure is the end all and that like once right. you fail you don't get up but yeah that is literally the opposite like when you fail you learn and right. then you get better me personally it'd be like music and like a lot of people especially people that i hang out with like almost have a hard time like being honest with themselves yeah and even though i know it's so true with a lot of my friends that like our professional level musicians, but they don't consider it or like they don't even think of it really as, as an option. And I think a lot of it has to do with outside factors, joy and other emotions being in reaction to outside factors. I think a lot of times people feel like the definition of success is making a lot of money or having a career that people feel is like prestigious and you yeah. know that's how you define it but that's like all outside factors i think it, a lot of it has to do with like where you are in life right and yeah like if you're later in life and maybe your ultimate joy is like providing for your kids or providing for yeah, your family and when that for sure and when it comes to that time in life then like maybe you need to have a solid job and like that's for sure. that's right you know what i mean yeah and then also accepting that your bliss is a journey Sure. And that it may change. It definitely changes, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. And I mean, that makes sense. Like, we're evolving people. Like, every single day, you're a different person. Same things that make me extremely happy now. Like, we're totally out of, like, you know, not right. even on my radar 10 years ago. One thing that I, I think about um, when it comes to this topic is, like, what makes you feel, like, the most alive? For sure, yeah. Because, like, last night, we had our Mandala Creatives event, and it was super dope, and it was super successful. Yeah. And... Like those moments, I feel the most alive. I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is where I would, where I belong right. on earth to like create experiences and facilitate that kind of energy. Yeah, it's been like a long time. I, it's hard for me to remember a time when like my heart's felt so full. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? From like the love and the support of all the homies. And yeah. It was just. Um, and like, so yeah, I think like pursuing that, like that was the ultimate like bliss, you know, for yeah. me. 
personally and like trying to pursue and make uh, opportunities like that more you know more available in, in yeah life. yeah there was a moment I think before I even talked to you I like what almost got emotional this is our first event and it's only gonna grow and it's only gonna get better sure. and then later on as I was just I feel like it was maybe during like Sunny's performance everyone is freaking hype as hell yeah. for what we're doing right now my heart felt like it was gonna explode I feel that for sure. And I mean, I think that's kind of part of why we wanted to do it too. Yeah. Like to create the framework for people to like, you know, follow their bliss and like see that there are other people out here trying to do the same. You know? Yeah. And, and it's possible. And I don't think we even like really talked about it in Sunu's video, but like, can you look at Sunu and tell me that he's supposed to be an x ray tech? No. No. Yeah. Right. It's so, crazy. like, you know, think about like everyone, all the artists and all the people that you admire and like what they could have been doing. Yeah, so I, I, I just kind of thought of this like, I wonder like, so how much of what we do is derived from, you know, external factors of people telling you that you should do this? Like, oh. Sanu, I, don't, I doubt that was Sanu's idea, you know? No. Like, he got that idea from someone else. And yeah. I think that's true with a lot of people. Like, they don't really like, search within themselves to figure out what they need yeah rather than, like kind of see what people are giving them and, or like you know they yeah. accept the things that people tell them they should do this is like something that i've just been getting into recently through like a guy named joseph campbell who's like a great mythologist of our time mm -hmm. and like there's a lot of you know consistencies Throughout like all of history, basically, like people asking these questions, like why are we here? What are we? What are we doing on this mm -hmm. earth? Like, you know what I mean? And like, what were you supposed to do? Right. And I think there's like everyone has a purpose. I think everyone yeah. has their purpose, and sometimes like maybe it's beyond you know what you do at work and yeah, um, really focusing in on that and not just kind of uh, abiding by the consumerism of just like. You know, getting through your day, like getting your fancy stuff. How would you recommend people to try to figure out what their bliss is? First thing, like isolating, like trying to like really like figure out yourself. You know, because yeah. there's so much that we there's, we we take in so much content and media and stuff mm -hmm. like this. And like, I mean, another thing for me is like living below my means or like ability. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because like. You, we all like we want so many things like yeah. material things but right. we don't really need them and like no I, th I think like it's easy to confuse like material um you know the things that you want materially than the things that you need like for your soul and like why you're buying those things sure right yeah. are you buying them for yourself are you buying them to prove something and just fit in with society and yeah and we can go on and on with yeah, this for sure. but thank you so much for watching thank yeah. you Luke, my little brother. Always. Peace out. Thank you. Lil Luki is seven years younger than me, but we twins now. Yeah, yeah. With our little curly throws. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button. Smash that. Smash that. Alright, thank you. Bye. Peace.